Okay, so Sinner has just won his way into the semifinals, beating Daniel Medvedev along the way. It's been interesting because it wasn't the greatest match they've ever played. Of course, they played some bangers, both at Wimbledon and the Australian Open. But this is what both players had to say after the match regarding the match and also about Sinner playing against Draper. So what Sinner had to say when he was asked about Draper in the next round, he said, We know each other very well. We are good friends off the court. It'll be a tough one. He's playing incredible. He hasn't lost a set yet. He's playing very, very good. So let's see what's coming. I'm just happy to be in the semis. Let's see who plays better in a couple of days. And he also talked about playing Medvedev today and how hard it was saying it was very tough. We know each other quite well. We've played in Australia and London this year. We knew it would be very physical. It was strange the first two sets because whoever made the first breaks started to roll. I'm really happy. Thanks everyone for staying so long. I really appreciate it. This is what Medvedev got asked in the press conference after the match about the topsy-turviness of the match. And he says, that's the thing in tennis. Sometimes you don't know the exact reason. So it could be anything. I mean, he's playing good. Could be his actual ball, his ball striking. Could be many different things. I don't have an answer yet. And I probably won't have why exactly it happened. Definitely, yeah, the momentum swings. I would say if I look for the positive, the first set was horrible for me. I think almost even probably worse than the third one. I managed to solve a lot of problems in the second set. Played better. Same in the fourth. Like, I managed to start solving some problems that I had in the third set. So that's like the positive things. The negative one is that finally I didn't solve them till then. And it's always better to not solve them than not have them at all. Yeah, so I don't know why exactly, but not the best match from my side. I actually think not the best match from his also. A little bit missing here and there. But he won, so yeah, he was better. So there you have it. That's what both players had to say post-match in the press conference and also in their interviews. And it's great to see Sinner in the semis. I mean, he's having such a good season. If he wins this slam, I mean, him and Alcaraz have taken over the tour. I mean, with all the four slams, but he's got to win two more matches. And there's a match against an American in the final, which is going to be really crazy for, for Sinner if he does get through Draper. But let me know that comes below. Is Sinner your pick to win now with the last four guys left? Or are you going with Draper? Maybe you're a little excited about that. Or maybe you're going with one of the Americans. Maybe Tiafo, maybe Fritz. But I'm still picking Sinner. I'm sticking with Sinner the entire way. He's just been so good this week. And in Cincy, he was really good as well. But there it is. The reaction from both guys post this match.